Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to solve the problem minimum number of operations to make array XOR equals to K. Uh, I think you have tried this problem for at least 20 minutes. Then only you came back and then you are watching the video tutorial. So first we will try to understand the question clearly. Then we will try to understand the logic behind it. Then the coding part you should try. You should try the coding part at least. Now uh, let's start. Let's start understanding the question. Here you are given a zero index integer array numbers and a positive integer k. Okay. Now numbers and a positive integer k. You can apply the following operations on the array any number of times. Choose an element of the array and flip a bit in the binary representation. It is saying that suppose I have two. It is one zero. So I can take any of the bit. Two in binary representation is one zero. I can take any of the bit and I can I can flip it now if i take this bit i can flip so that it will become zero zero flipping a bit means changing a zero to one or vice versa now we need to return the minimum number of operations required to make the bit by xor of all elements of the final array equals to k now if we xor all the elements then my uh, value should be equals to k we need to uh, flip the bits and that should be the minimum note that you can flip leading zero bits in the binary representation. He's saying that suppose it is this is five. Suppose we have five, and in five, my zeroth bit, first bit, second bit, third bit is zero, which is a leading zeros. Third bit, fourth bit, fifth bit, everything is zero. But it's saying you can flip the leading bit, leading bit as well. That means you can flip this, this, this. Any bit you can flip. I think you have got it. Uh, try to. I think you have got the question let's see let's first is saying bitwise xor so first we can understand the xor property xor property says that if my both elements are equal 0 xor 0 which will be my 0 anything 0 xor 0 or 5 xor 5 or 6 xor 6 anything my if my elements are equal then it will be 0 and if 1 is existing 1 xor 0 that is 1 1 xor 0 if the both elements are same that is 0 0 xor 1 that is 1 uh, this is the my XOR property. This is the basic thing you need you need to know before solving this problem. Now you can try. You can try for some time, mm. and I think you have tried it. Now let's see. Now we have numbers here. The numbers are represented. These are all the binary representation of the numbers. These are all the binary representation of the numbers. He is saying that two is represented one three four. K is my zero zero one. Now if you observe carefully, we can go from bit to bit. So my, uh, I will try to take every bit and uh, I will modify that bit such a way that it should be equals to k, uh, kth bit. <laughs> Sorry. Now, first let's consider from the zeroth bit. If if you consider from the zeroth bit, now we will xor all the zero bits values. Zero xor one xor one xor zero. That means it will be my zero, right? It will be 0, 1 XOR 1 which is 0 and all others are 0 so it will be my 0 and my in the kth bit it should be 1. It should be 1. So now it should be 1 so it should flip it. So my answer will be increased by 1 if we are flipping it. Now here, now if you see here 1 XOR 1 which is 0 and 0 XOR 0 XOR 0 which is 0. 0 is equal to 0 not required. We will not flip. Now we have this 0, 0, 0, 1. Now if you see he's saying 0. Yeah, he's saying 0, but my XOR is 1. My XOR is 1. I can flip any of the bit. I can flip any of the bit. Suppose if I am flip, flipping the bit here, 1 XOR 1, which is 0. Right? If it is 1, I need to flip it. 0, 0, 0, which is 0. Now my answer will be 2. So I think you have got it. If I am getting 0. I can flip any of the bit to make it 1. I can flip this bit to 1 or this bit to 1 or I can make this bit to 0 as well. So I have 3 to 4 possibilities. Every, every At every node, I have a possibility to make it. So I think you have got it. Now, the logic is pretty straightforward. You should use right upper, uh, right shift and the left shift. So try for some time. Uh, I think you have tried it. So let's see the coding part. Uh, please guys try this because uh, don't, don't see the coding part try try for some time then only you can come back 
because in this you can learn you can learn about right shift left shift and the constraints as well because the constraints are the most important thing in this problem now if you see here is saying nums of i is 10 power 6 that means is saying 10 power 6 so how many bits it can store generally 10 power 9 stores 2 power 32 bits it's like approximation is saying 10 power 6 so it will be like 2 power 20 but we can take 30 we can start from 30 we are iterating every bit and now we are iterating every integer in the vector in the vector we are iterating in the every integer and here this is a right shift operator that means suppose we have 1 0 1 and if I want to right shift it by 1 if I want to right shift it by 1 it will right shift and it will become 1 0 0 sorry it will be 0 1 0 0 1 0 and my 0 has moved to this position and we are doing and 1 and 1 that means if and 1 it will be like 0 1 0 0 0 1 it will check it will check if it is 1 if it is equals to 1 we are b is equals to b x or 1 because we are we are checking for everything b x or 1 and if it is 0 we don't care because if it is 0 it uh, my answer will remain same because 1 x or 0 is 1 0 XOR 0 is 0 my answer is not changing so I am not doing any bit by XOR here now and at the end K K should also move to uh, I uh, I indexes should be right shifted so in this way K is equal to K right shift of I that means same thing suppose we have 1 0 0 0 right shift of uh, 4 times that means this one will come to this position it will be like 0 1 1 that's it so this then if if it is not equal we are incrementing the answer and finally we are returning it so here my time complexity will be order of 30 into n that means it's like order of n and we are not using any extra space so it will my space will be is constant it will be order of n uh, i think uh, you are, you understood this solution so if you understood it please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye